Today we are going to learn about multiples. So what is a multiple? In order to find a multiple, you take the number and you count up by that number. So let's do a quick example so you have an idea what it is. So let's say I'm looking at the multiples of um, 4. So all I'm doing is I'm going to count up by 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. And then I keep going. Plus 4. And that goes to, oops, sorry. That goes to 12. And then I add 4 again. And it goes to 16. And I can keep going. So these are all multiples of 4. And each time, all I'm doing is I'm adding 4. So that's if I was just to count up by four. Now, if I use, you can also use something called a hundreds chart, and you have one of these in your binder already. So using a hundreds chart to count up by four. So I take my, I'm gonna just take the blue that I'm using, and if I have my four here, and I'm counting up by four. So I go four, and then I go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and there we go. See so if you see the same numbers that we wrote already are getting um, circled. So those are my multiples of 4. And if you keep going, you can go through the entire hundreds list and you can find all the multiples of 4. So that's how you find the multiples of a number. So it's simply taking the number and adding the same number to it on an ongoing basis. So it's a pattern of adding 4. In this case, if we were doing the multiples, let's do another one. If we're doing the multiples of 2, I would take 2 and I simply add 2 and I go 2 plus 2 is 4. So I'm just adding 2 plus 2 is oops, 6 plus 2 is 8. And again, all I'm doing is I'm simply adding 2 as I go down the list. And I can do that here again. So there is my 2 and there is my 4 getting circled again. And then my 6 and my 8. And I can keep going on and on and on. Again, all I'm doing is I'm counting up by two. Okay? So what we have here, and if you notice something there, I'm just going to circle that again so you can see it on the blue and the green. And that's the next slide that we're going to go to. So these are called common multiples. So when you're looking for something in common between the two numbers, you see that these are common. So here we have our four circled in green and in blue. That means they both have these in common. These are common multiples between four and two. So anytime we have the two number, the number circled in the two colors, that is a common multiple. So six would not be a common multiple. It's only circled in the green but 8 is a common multiple, okay? 12 is a common multiple. 14 is not a common multiple. 16 is a common multiple. And if I kept going, I would see there were more common multiples. So this is how you find multiples. You simply add the number as you go through. So we're at common multiples, and that's what we just talked about. So the multiples um, that numbers have in common. So again, we did 2 and 4 on the last screen. Let's do another one so you can see another example. Um, let's do the number 6. And let's do the number 8 so we can just see. So let's do 6. So if I do 6, again, to find the multiple, all I'm doing is adding 6 each time. So I have 6. And then I can add another 6, which is 12. And I add another 6, which is 18. And I keep going, 24. And again, if I wanted to, I can go here and I can color it in. So there's 6. And then there is, so I count 6 more. So I go 6, 1, 2, let me use a pointer actually. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And end up on the 12. So I'm going to color in my 12. Sorry, not the best coloring job, guys. And I keep going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I put the 18. So I'm going to color in my 18. And, oops, my 19 got colored there, guys. Sorry about that. Let's erase that. Out. The 19 can't be colored. And then I keep going. And you can see, if I'm going on my list, I would go down and keep counting 6. I'm going to keep going down here just for you to see. 
So if I was to keep going, it would be 24, then 30, and 36, and 42. And all I did, again, ladies and gentlemen, to get that was I simply added 6 each time. So in this case, all I'm doing is adding 6 to that number, and it's giving me my multiples. So these are my multiples of 6, and now we're going to do the multiples of 8. And again, the same process. So I take 8, and I add another 8 to it, so I get 16, and I add another 8 to it, and I get 24, and I add another 8, 32, and I add another 8, and 40, and again, my list can keep going. And just to show you again, all I did was I added 8 each time. And if I was to go on my list here, let's use a different color. If I was to go in my list here, there's my 8. And then I go down the list, and there's my 16. And then I keep going, and there is my 24. And then we have my 32. Oops, not getting colored in. And my 40. And let's go back and finish the, the 6 we were working on. So with 6, I had 18. And then I had 24. And then I have 30. And I have 36. And then I have 42. So then I say, okay, so where on this list, where on this list did I color in one of the numbers with both the orange and the blue? And I go through my numbers, and here it is. That's my common multiple. There are, if you look in the rest of them, there are no other common multiples except for that one. So 24 is my common multiple. So if you use the hundreds chart, that's what you're looking for. If you're doing it this way, where you're listing out the multiples, you're looking for the number that's the same. So we go through the list, and we see that our common multiple is going to be, sorry guys, I'm just picking a color here, is going to be, are 24. That's the only common number. So a common number is when you have them the same. So you're looking for the number that appears similar in or the same in each of the multiples. Now, the next thing we're looking at, each common multiple of a number is divisible by that number. So what does that mean? So that means if I take my 24 and I divide it by 6, I know that in the six times tables, in order to get in the six times tables, in order to get to 24, I'm going to have to multiply my six how many times? So I go one, two, three, four times. So this is going to be a four. Four times six. So then you multiply this. Four times six equals 24, and that's. Zero. So I know that that goes, that is a multiple that multiplies into it. The next one we try, we go, uh, if I do my 8 into 24, and again in the 8 times tables, so here is, oops, here's my 8, 1, 2, 3, so that's going to be a 3, 3 times 8 is 24. And so each common multiple of a number is divisible by the number. So you can divide it into that number. Okay, so now we're going to go to task. So our first task says, what are the first 10 multiples of 3? So now it's up to you whether you use the hundreds chart or you actually just add three each time, but I want you to pause the video, I want you to try it, and then I want you to come back. So, okay, so go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. And so, I'm going to show you to just, if we were just to add three. So if I have three, I add another three, I get six, and I keep going. And again, all I'm doing is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then again, if I have twelve, I'm adding three, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 13, 14, um, 15, and then I keep going, and I'm going to go 18, 21, and then I'm just going to mark out 10 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that I get the right number in there. 
And I'm going to keep going. So if I have 21, I add 3 to 21. 21 plus 3 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. 27 plus 3 is 30. So the multiples of 3, these are all of the multiples of 3. These are, ten, not all of them, these are 10 multiples of 3. I can keep going. So I can keep going. I get to get 33, then 36, and I can keep going, and that pattern will continue. Okay, but these are the multiples of 3. And all I did, ladies and gentlemen, again, is all I did was add 3 each time. So you can use this process, or you can just, again, open up your hundreds chart, and you can look on your hundreds chart and count 3 each time. Okay, that's task number 1. Excellent. Let's go to task number 2. So what are the first 3 common multiples of 6 and 10? So now I'm giving you 2 numbers, okay? And you're looking for the first three common multiples. So you're going to keep going until you get the first three common multiples. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pause your video and then come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to do my sixes first and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add those numbers in there and I'm going to I keep adding six to this and I'm going to keep going. So six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and all I'm doing, guys, is I'm adding 6 each time to get this list going. And I'm going to go ahead, and maybe I'll have to keep going. I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking for the first three common multiples. If I'm doing 10. I know that my numbers are all going to be whole numbers. 10 plus 10 is 20, and then 30, and then 40. You just keep going. 50. And you realize that, hmm... I don't have all the common multiples yet. So far, I've only found one common multiple, and I need to find three. So that means I need to keep going. My sixes are not complete. I need to keep adding to my sixes to make this happen. So I'm going to keep going. 20, sorry, I'm at 42. Keep going here, guys. I'm going to get to 48. I add another six. 54, 60, oh sorry, uh, 54, 60, I'm running out of space, and then I have 66, 70, 72, oops, what happened here, 72, I keep going, I add another 6, it's going to be 78, then I have 84, and I keep going, I get to 90, and I get to 96. So now I know that I'm looking for whole numbers, and I stopped here for a reason, because if I look at it, I've got 30 there, I've got 60 here, and I've got 90 here. I know that my 10 times tables, if I was to keep adding 10, I'm going to get there very quickly. So if I go back to my blue here, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And so I've got all three of my numbers here. So I've got my 60 and my 90. So I know that the three common multiples of 6 and 10 are going to be 30, 60, and that's right there, and 90. So those are the three numbers that they have in common. So those are my three common multiples. Do with task number three, and it says find the first three common multiples of two, three, and four. So you have several strategies that you can use. You can either just keep counting up, or you can use your hundreds chart and find out what they are. But I want you to list it. So either way you do it, if you're going to use a hundreds chart, then you're going to show me the colors on the hundreds chart when you come into class. If you're going to list them out, then you're going to list all of them. But I want to see this answer in class tomorrow. Okay?